Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I'm sharing a PA trip with you. I shared on my channel a couple months ago that this summer I really wanted to travel up to PA and see what kind of antique stores they had. I am just a state away in New Jersey and I've never gone antiquing up there. So I went up there with my friend Dominique. I will insert a little selfie that we took um, yesterday. We went on July 23rd on a Saturday. It was wicked hot, like 100 degrees when we went, but we still had so much fun. We were on a little bit of a time crunch, so we were in and out of stores quickly. We didn't get to go to every place that we wanted, but we hit up some flea markets, some antique stores in Lambertville, which is right across the bridge from New Hope. Um, I will list everywhere that we went down below and a bunch of antique stores that you can check out because I know New Hope, Pennsylvania is more of a popular touristy area to go to. So if you ever wanna take a trip over there, it's an adorable town that I know my followers would love. I really wanted to be in the moment, so I'm sharing some clips with you guys in a few seconds here when I'm done rambling. <laughs> I have some clips to share with you guys, just very quick clips. I didn't do too much like shop with me content because I really wanted to be present and we didn't have a lot of time. Um, we needed to be back by four o'clock for other plans. So yes, I do have some random clips here and there that I will share with you. So that's going to be first and then I will share a little haul with you at the end. guys enjoyed the little shop with me. Like I said, I didn't want to be spending my entire day filming. Um, although I love you all, I really wanted to be in the moment and shopping. So I made sure to get some content for you guys, but I spent most of my time shopping. But I will say, number one, I did not get that much. And I was even surprised with myself um, if I found things I loved. I bought them um, if they were a good price. There were some things that I really loved that I was just like, I cannot spend $90 on a stool. Um, 
but yeah I didn't really get that much so you know what that means like we'll just have to go back and find more eventually so I have a couple random gems to share with you and I also wanted to share these jean shorts with you guys I shared them in let me tilt this down I shared them in my last um day in the life video that i picked these up from target these are so cute and comfortable i'm gonna link them for you guys i am obsessed with them i just have them with like this little black old navy tee and my birkenstocks but i am loving this length i think it's because i'm 27 now and i just don't do shorts anymore you know i think that's when you know you're getting old. Okay, can I shut up and show you what I got? All right. <laughs> okay, so the first place that we went to was this flea market. I will insert a little clip of the exact name of it. I want to say it was Golden Nugget Antique Market or Flea Market. That was the first place that we went to and everyone had different booths set up selling like antiques or not to be mean, but they're garbage. <laughs> Some people like will put stuff out on tables and I'm just like, would you just donate it to the Goodwill? Lord have mercy. So, um, this flea market had pretty affordable booths. So I stumbled across this table and they had these set of three dishes. Of course, I love this style of dishes. They um some of them are marked and some of them are not so this one is unmarked this one is ultima china and this one is the same and um i asked the lady like oh how much are the set of three dishes and she's like oh they're a dollar a piece and i was like oh my gosh a dollar a piece cheaper than the Goodwill, like I will take them. So I am very happy with this find. I honestly, this was the first place that we went to. So I didn't know what I was gonna end up finding when we traveled to PA, but she had a beautiful stack of like thick, creamy, they look like ironstone dishes, like they were round plates and I should have bought them, but I didn't know if I was gonna spend 300 more dollars that day, which I didn't, so I should have bought them, but whatever. At that same flea market, I came across this gorgeous galvanized bucket. This is a really heavy bucket and it has a really nice chunky handle. A lot of the galvanized buckets that I see are very thin and they have like that really thin handle that just like flops all over. This one is so sturdy. It has no rusting on it. It's honestly in gorgeous condition. No holes or anything in the bottom, no rust. This was $7 at this flea market. I, like when I wanted to go to PA, like that is the kind of prices that I wanted to pay. I wanted to go to flea markets and pay like a penny for everything basically you know like i want to stumble upon antiques and people will be like this is a quarter that's the kind of stuff i want to find i need to go to more like garage sales but i was thrilled to find this i'm glad that i've been holding out on buying one because i see them at antique stores a lot and they're like 20 25 dollars so seven bucks is a bargain just found this random tag in my pocket stickers attached to me that's good to know I just went out in public I got stickers on my butt <sighs> this is definitely like my number one favorite from the trip I stumbled across this and the booth owner said that it was $25 I asked if he would take 20 he said I really would like to get 25 for it and honestly I was fine to pay 25 for this you guys, I'm, I'm so excited. It's not even like rusted. It's just like the patina of this. You guys will have to let me know. This says Triner, T-R-I-N-E-R, -E Precision Number 4 Scales. 
it's a postal scale, which I love. I love like all the writing and the detail of this. It's like, I don't even know. I, I don't know, but listen, the best part is like, it's a baby. It's a baby. Like, let me show you the recent scale I got. So if you guys watch my channel, you would have seen this gorgeous scale that I just picked up from the antique store for $40 I paid for this. This is like a little baby version. Well, not version, but it's a baby scale. How many times can I say baby in five minutes, okay? Honestly, I am stoked. I'm trying to see, it says uh, regulating screw inside, whatever the heck, I don't care what that means. Um, EFF 8-1-58. Does that mean the date? Is this from the 1950s? I don't know, but I don't think it works. Oh, just kidding. It does work. I don't really care if they work. I just love the way they look. This is precious. So little. I don't know what it is, but like sometimes with antiques, I'm like, I love her. She is so cute. Like this one is definitely like little boy, like love him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I am all about like the neutral, old, white chippy scales or like black scales, just neutral colors. I used to have this like green chippy one. No, no, no. I know that's not my vibe. I don't know why I bought it, okay? Um, so I'm trying to buy different versions of white scales like with different faces to put around my house so that I have like a bunch of different white scales. But I came across this one, very chippy and white. This is the face. Um, it looks like universal, um, New Britain CO, made in USA. I think this is maybe from Colorado. I can't really tell. US, I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's old and white and chippy and I love it so much definitely something I will treasure for a long time and I got this one for only $23 which I thought was a really great price for an old scale like this. So like I said there were so many things that I kind of wanted to buy but I wasn't sure what I would find the rest of the trip so I was a little bit hesitant and I was very hesitant to buy this because it was $20 which is really not that much money but um, I was just nervous that I was going to find more things that I don't know. But anyway, I did end up buying it. It was $20 and I am so glad that I did end up getting it. It is this old paintbrush with a wooden handle and has really nice patina on the handle. The bristles are like so nice. They're all intact. It's a little rusty on this perimeter. I love this. I want to, I already have a couple brushes, but eventually I want to put them all on my laundry room shelves. And I think this would look so nice sitting up on my shelves. So that is my plan for this. Like I said, it was $20, but I'm glad that I picked it up because I really did not find too much on this trip. Uh, at this particular store there were loads of things that I wanted to buy but they were a little bit pricey so I did hold off and I'll just keep them in mind for hopefully the next time that we go. So last but not least we found this flea market in PA. It was right outside of New Hope PA. I will leave the name of it in my description down below. There were quite a few people there selling different things. It was kind of like craft fair mixed with like people just selling random stuff. And there was this one barn there called Sweet Annie's and it had all different things like primitive style stuff, um, home decor signs, all different stuff. And I found this huge enamel welcome sign. Like this is giant. It's 
probably, I'm 5'7", so what is that, maybe like 5'4"? Five 5'2"? Five <laughs> I don't know. Who cares, Jenny? Who cares? Okay, so it's a tall sign, and I love the black and white. It's super neutral. Like, are you kidding me? This already looks so good, like, with this decor that I have here. Um, this would look great inside, outside, on my back porch, on my front porch. And I really wasn't gonna get it and Dominique was like, you can put that anywhere, like in your entryway, you could lean it up against your house out back if people come over. And I was like, you're so right. Because I was so enticed by the price, but I was like, what do I need this for? I don't really need it but it was $35, which I feel like a sign this huge and like this nice, $35 is a steal. So I have mentioned before that I wanna do an entryway makeover and I'm thinking I might hang this behind my front door. So um, literally right where this bag is, I might hang it on that wall. So we'll see. Also, I took down all my July 4th decor earlier. Sorry, I didn't film it. I was in my pajamas and I just took it all down in a rage, you know? So yes, I'm very excited about this find. Love it, love it, love it. All right, well, I don't know if you guys will believe it, but that is all that I found on my little antiquing extravaganza to PA. Only a couple things, but Maybe it's best for me. I need to be more choosy when I'm buying things. Like, do I really need this? Yes, you know what I mean, so. <laughs> if this is your first time ever stopping by my channel, I wanted to say first, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you had fun antiquing with me and seeing my haul. I do loads of antique hauls on my channel, thrifting, DIYs, home decorating, home tours farmhouse style, vintage style. If that sounds like content you would love, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. If you are new here, please leave me a comment down below so I can welcome you to my channel. That is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.